All right, here's some examples of solving some equations. The first couple are inequalities and then some quadratic equations. So in this one, it says solve this inequality. Um, now, what I'm wanting to do is solve for x. And I'm always wanting to get x on the side of the equal sign or of the inequality by itself. So there's this minus 5 here I have to get rid of. Since that's being multiplied by x, I'm going to divide both sides by a minus 5. Now, this might look a little awkward to have minus 6 sevenths divided by a negative 5, but we'll figure that out in a second. Now, when I divide both sides of an equality by a negative number, that means that this inequality must change. So it's going to change to that sign. And now I have this negative 6 sevenths divided by a negative 5 I have to worry about. The two negatives will cancel, but I still have 6 sevenths divided by 5. One way you could do it is when you divide 5, I really could have, if I had minus 6 sevenths, I could have just put the multiply negative 5 in the denominator there. And so then that would have become negative 6 over negative 35 or just 6 over 35. Another way you could do that is just do this division. So you'd say 6 sevenths divided by 5. And when you divide by 5, that's the same as 5 over 1. And uh, divide, you're gonna ch uh, you can change the divide to times and find the reciprocal of the second one. And then you'll just multiply the tops together, that's 6. Multiply the bottoms together, that's 35. Okay, so in this case, 6 over 35 is greater than or equal to x. Or you could write it as x is less than or equal to 6 over 35. Notice when I switch sides, I have to switch that inequality to. Okay, here's another inequality. So again, I'm looking for x, and so I have to get rid of this 9, this negative, and this 3. Let's first get rid of the 3. So I'm going to subtract 3 on this side. If I do it, I have to, on the right, do it on the left. So I get 27 is greater than negative 9x. Now to get x by itself, I'll divide both sides by a negative 9. Again, divided by a negative number, this inequality must change. 27 divided by negative 9 is a negative 3. So my answer is negative 3 is less than x, or x is greater than negative 3. Notice that this thing is opening toward the x on this side, and again on this side, it's opening toward the x. So if you flip sides, you have to... Um, change the inequality to. All right, okay, a couple of quadratic ones. This one says solve the equation for w. If it's a quadratic, I need to factor this uh, expression. So what, what I'm wanting to do is get down so it's something times something is equal to zero. If there's a number in front, I can use the AC method. So I'm gonna go two times 36 is 72. So I need to get two numbers that multiply to 72, and the same numbers need to add to 17. So uh, 9 times 8 is 72, and 9 plus 8 is 17. So those are my numbers. So I'll take and I'll split that middle term into 9w plus 8w. See where I got my numbers from? Plus 36 is equal to 0. Now I'll group factor. Out of the first two, I can only take a w. Out of the next two, I think I can take 4. So a plus 4. So it'll be a 2w plus oh, 9 again. OK, so if these are the same, I can factor them out. And then I write down what I'm left with. Now, that's not my answer yet, but it's factored, and I'm close. And now I can use a 0 property that says if I multiply two things together and I get 0, Either 2w plus 9 is 0, or w plus 4 is 0. So here I'll move the 9 over, and then I'll divide both sides by 2. Here I'll just move the 4 over to the other side. So those are my two answers for that question. And you could take the number and plug it back in everywhere you see a w, and hopefully you're going to come up with 0. If you don't, then we did something wrong. I'm pretty confident we did it right, though. But I've been wrong before. Here's another one. 
similar thing, but this one doesn't equal zero. So that's the first thing I'm going to do is I'll move that that 15 over to the left side and make it negative. And now, ooh, this looks ugly. 20 times 15, that's negative 300. So things that multiply to negative 300 and add to a negative 13. Oh, great. Uh, okay, well, 15 times 20. Uh, but they only have a difference of 5. That's not it. How about 10? Uh, 10 times 30. That's 300. But then you subtract, you get 20. So that's not it. Has to be something in between there. I paused and got a calculator. Uh, 12 times 25. 12 times a negative 25 is 300. And when you add those, you get negative 13. So those are my numbers. So let's replace the 13 with um, plus 12c minus 25c minus 15 is equal to 0. Also, notice it doesn't matter what order you put those in over here, um, as long as the signs are correct. Sometimes it's nice to put the negative one first, uh, but it, it, it doesn't matter, as long as you be careful. Group factor, out of the first two, I think I can take a 4c, leaving me with 5c plus 3. Out of the next one, I'm taking a negative 5, so I'll be left with 5c plus 3. Notice how, how that had to change signs. These are the same, so I can bring that out front. And then I'm left with 4c minus 5 is equal to 0. Again, I'm not done, I've just factored. But now I'll say 5c plus 3 is 0, or 4c minus 5 is 0. Solving each one, I get 5c equals a negative 3. Divide by 5, c is negative 3 fifths. In this one, 4c is equal to 5, c equals 5 quarters. So those would be my two answers for that. Hopefully that helps you out with those two types of solving equations or inequalities.